dimensional habits to manifest anything. Yes, how to use higher dimensions to manifest anything that you want in your life. How to use higher dimensions. We live in the third dimension. Here you are in the third dimension right now. And we're, we're sure that what you see is what reality is. But what if you could tap into a dimension that was in an energy level, a vibration beyond the consciousness that you can perceive with your physical senses that say, oh, here's reality right here. What I can see, what I can hear. I'm sure that this stuff that I could touch, that I could feel physical matter is reality. But what about a higher dimension? In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can tap in to the fifth dimension power, to higher dimensional powers of the universe so that you can create what you want or as Steve Jobs says, you can dent the universe. How to literally bend it so that you can attract what you want. This is Jake Ducey with jakeducey.com and be prepared because some amazing things are about to occur in your life over the next 24 hours. Number one, the first higher dimensional habit that's very important for us to take seriously is actually before I share with you, let me just share with you a quote from Albert Einstein. He said that logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. Logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you everywhere, anywhere you want to go. Comment down below, logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. Comment down below, logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. That's from Albert Einstein. And what is that saying? We're, we're, we're used to logic. We think this is what reality is. This is what I can see. That's logical. Why is that logical? Because it's based off the information that your physical senses are giving you. But your physical senses are only picking up a certain bandwidth, a certain level, a certain frequency of information. They're only picking up a certain bandwidth, a certain level, a certain frequency of energy. But there is energy outside the spectrum, the bandwidths of which your physical senses can perceive. For example, you blow a dog whistle, you can't hear the dog whistle. But you know it's there. You blow it anyways, but you can't hear it. Your dog can hear it. Your dog can pick up sound outside of what your of what your ears can pick up. Well, don't you think if you could blow a dog whistle, you can't hear the dog whistle, but the dog can do it. Therefore, there's sound outside of the spectrum uh, of of sound that your ears can pick up. Your your limited physical senses can only hear so much information. Don't you think that they can only see so much information? There's energy happening beyond what your physical eyes are conditioned to perceiving. Therefore, what you want is on the way. What you want is here now. Therefore, there are beautiful forces working on your behalf that your physical senses can't perceive. But what happens is people say, oh, this is only possible for me financially based off of, look at my bank account. Look at what I've made the last seven years on my tax returns. Look at this. I don't have a good education. Look at this. I don't have, you know, a prestigious university degree. Look at this. I'm too old. See, look, my body. Look, I'm too old. Look, my teeth are messed up. My, I, I'm, I, I, I have too much fat on my chin. I have, uh, I'm too skinny. There's all these physical things from the physical senses that are logical. Albert Einstein said logic will take you from A to B. It may give you a very incremental growth in your life, perhaps, or it might just keep you at the same level. That's what happens to most people. Year after year, they make the same amount of money. Year after year, they attract more or less the same success. Year after year, they manifest more or less the same thing over and over again. It's like they're running around at a track at a high school and they're just running in, in, in circles. They're running in quarter mile an hour circles over and over. Oh, here it again. The same money I made last year. Oh, here again. The same problems I had the year before. The same limitations. This is what's logical. Don't you understand? No, logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. Everything is energy. You're an individualization of God. You're an extension of the creative force of the universe. And you channel this creative force. You channel God through your own imagination. Just like you can't hear a dog whistle, it's at a sound beyond what your physical um, 
ears can can pick up. You only see there's energy happening be, beyond what you can perceive. By the way, lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. That's what I always say. You know, you blow a dog whistle, you can't hear it, but then you see there are things that you cannot see that are happening as well. They're beyond what your the the spectrum of light that that your eyes can perceive. So there's things happening and you look out and you say, nothing's happening. And then you assume because you see nothing is happening that things aren't working in your favor. Things are always working in your favor. God's favor blesses you constantly. The universe's favor blesses you constantly. Comment down below, God's favor blesses me constantly. And if you don't like the word God, then you can use the word universe. Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water. It doesn't matter what the word is. So comment down below, God's favor blesses me. Comment that down below, God's favor blesses me. So just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. So I say lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. So let's really look at that sentence. Lack of evidence. So I don't see the evidence that my financial life is changing. I don't see the evidence that 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 retraining my brain is working yet. Like for instance, I created a software called the second mind because the way you manifest reality isn't just based off of your own conscious mind. It's based off the way your brain is conditioned to operate in your subconscious mind. Because every time you have a thought, an emotion, you make a certain amount of money, you have a relationship that doesn't work out, you fire brain cells. And those brain cells wire together and that's what creates your brain synapses, your neural networks, the way your brain eventually, habitually creates your reality based off of the way that your brain is programmed to operate. Unfortunately, most people's brains are conditioned to operate to not attract the money that they're truly capable of, to not attract the love that they truly deserve, to not create the life that they truly want. They want it, but their brain isn't set up unconsciously to create reality the way that they want it to be. I call the old mind the first mind, your new mind the second mind. And I created a software to do that. It's free to demo. It's thesecondmind.com right there down below. Thesecondmind.com right there down below. And you can demo it for free to start to train your mind to, to make your imagination real. Albert Einstein said logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. Your brain has been conditioned based off of your past. So if you wanna make double the amount of money, if you wanna attract a dream job, if you wanna live in your dream home, have the life you want, attract your soulmate, whatever it is that you want out of life, you have to use your imagination to retrain your brain to a reality that has not happened yet, according to what your physical senses tell you. But it has happened, it's just happened in a higher dimension that's outside of the frequency of light that your eyes can perceive as reality. It's happening, it has happened. It's at an energy frequency beyond what you can perceive. In science they say energy is never created or destroyed. So if energy is never created or destroyed, then all the energy that ever was and ever will be is 100% evenly present at all places at all times. That would mean if energy is never created or destroyed, then what is everything made of? Energy, money is made of energy, the relationship you want, the job you want, the car you want, the house you want, the, the family you want, the opportunity to create that um, amazing difference in your community, the opportunity to uh, make your album, do whatever it is that you want, it's all energy. That's all reality is, is energy, moving at a very high speed of vibration so it appears to be a solid object to our limited physical senses that can't see it for what it really is. In fact, an atom, the atoms that make up the walls, the chair you're sitting on, atoms, the building block of the physical universe, it's 95% empty space. Some people say it's 99.999% empty space. So a particle, an atom that's supposed to be physical, that builds our physical world is 90 something percent empty space. It's 90 something percent non-physical. It's just energy that's that's vibrating at too high of a speed for our physical senses to pick up. That's what it is. It's from a higher dimension. So your imagination is you 
pulling energy from a higher dimension, realities where all possibilities already exist. We live in an infinite universe. There is a parallel reality. There is a higher dimension where you already have the money. You already have the job. You already have the soulmate, the car, the house, the nonprofit that you've wanted, the the ideal uh, health and fitness that you've wanted, the amazing friendships that you desire. That stuff already exists. It's just that we get in our own way by perceiving reality from a very small lens and we say, oh, that can't happen. Well, logically speaking, I mean, look at the last four years of my tax returns. Logically speaking, I, 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 I'm not smart enough. Logically speaking, I mean, we're just talking logical here. I mean, my last seven relationships haven't worked out. There's no good guys left. I mean, because we're emotionally charged to the past, so our brain gets conditioned to reproduce those realities over and over again. Enter in your imagination, and it's game over, because you can start to remold the energy of the universe towards your intended means, towards the way you desire. So comment down below, I create all I want now. I create all I want now. See, when I learn this stuff, what I started to do is I realized, okay, if this is true, then I've been programmed my whole life to believe that I can't have, here's what I want over here, and here's my level of consciousness down here. What I wanted was, I wanted to inspire millions of people through the internet all over the world to reclaim the power of their mind, to create the life they truly wanted, to, to be more the most happiest, harmonious versions of themselves, to create the most epic, amazing life of freedom, given all these beautiful, abundant resources and opportunities we have on planet Earth. And I believe that's gonna make the world a better place. That will change the world. So my mission, my vision, what I desired was up here. And it was like, I wanna inspire millions of people through the internet, I have books, I have courses, all those types of things. I want it, my real goal is I wanna inspire 10, I want 10 million people's brains to, to be reconditioned for the amazing possibilities and potential that they have so that they can create the most amazing things in their life possible. That's why I created the Second Mind, my software designed to do that. You you can demo it for free right there down below. It's thesecondmind.com and you can demo it for free. But here's my vision, but then here's my consciousness. I was 19 years old, I dropped out of college. So I was conditioned by our reality that you're not gonna be successful if you don't go to college. That's logical, right? A to B, that seems logical. So then I was left with this idea as a 19 year old like I might not be smart enough. In fact, I failed junior English class in high school and I wanted to become an author. And so when I wrote my first book, I was like, am I smart? Like this whole time, this intense shadow of like logic that was like, you're not intelligent enough. You don't have a college degree. You're too young. You have this problem. You have this problem. You have this problem. And when I was in high school for a while, I thought they thought doctors thought I had like ADD and ADHD. My teachers were always calling my house and stuff. So for a little while, I used some ADD medication when I was a, 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 a young man in, in like 15 years old. So I started to think I was stupid, like I couldn't concentrate and stuff. It's very hard to write a book, you have to be able to concentrate. So I was stuck between where I wanted to be and where my consciousness was that seemed very logical and I had to break through using my imagination and start reimagining myself and remembering I'm a spiritual being in a physical body. I'm not even this body anyways. I'm an individualization of the infinite creative force of the universe. I'm an individualization of God. God dwells within me. The creative force of the universe dwells within my own mind and I can harness that energy and I can direct that energy towards the way that I wanted. So I started imagining myself inspiring millions of people. I started to get emotionally involved in that idea, like seeing how happy it makes me feel. Like I don't always read all my comments because there's so many of them, but just today for like an hour, I went back through on my video from today that I published and I read through them all and, and they, they made me so happy. Well, I used to imagine getting those comments before I would get those comments. My reality told me this wasn't working. I wasn't gonna be successful on YouTube, the universe. This is one th that we gotta watch out for. We always say things like, oh, uh, this must not be meant to be. Because we're looking at our physical reality logically and we're saying, oh, it's not meant to be because it hasn't happened yet. Remember, lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. Comment that down below. Lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. 
Lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. I couldn't see it yet. So I had to start using my imagination to see you beautiful human being on the other side and us connecting like this and this being a vehicle and an instrument that's inspiring people, uplifting people's consciousness, allowing people to be an instrument to help them remember how powerful you are as a human being that you can create amazing things in life. I had to get emotionally involved in it to start firing new brain cells, to start reconditioning myself. And then I realized, man, I should take this to the extreme and I should create a system to start to do this for me. And that's when I created the second mind. That's where that all came about from. And you can demo it for free. Like I said, it's thesecondmind.com right there down below, thesecondmind.com. And here's what I'm inviting you to do. Use your imagination today. Logic will take you from A to B, but imagination will take you anywhere. You might feel bogged down. Here's what I'm inviting you to do. Go within yourself. Go within your own mind. You have the ability to think what it is that you want to think regardless of the appearance of things. And that's truth because it's you taking spirit energy and you molding it towards the way that you want. You're meant to live a fulfilling life. The word desire means desire of the father, that your desires are holy. They're coming from a higher dimension. It's God wanting to express itself through you. It's the universe wanting to express itself through you. It's your soul seeking more life, seeking to experience more life. So your desires are possible. Allow yourself to imagine, allow yourself to be swept away in the beauty of the possibilities. And as you continue to call upon those beautiful images, the vision that you have for your life, imagine yourself to feel a sense of gratitude and appreciation that these possibilities already exist in higher dimensions and higher energies. And as you keep calling upon them moment after moment, day after day, using visualization, allowing yourself to have faith in the possibilities, you start to get emotionally charged by them. Yeah, this is going to happen. Yeah, I am grateful for these beautiful things. Thank you, universe, for making these things a reality. You start activating new brain cells. You start pulling new experiences into your life. And then out of nowhere, suddenly something great occurs. That's what happened to me. I was doing this and I wasn't getting the results. I was getting no subscribers on my YouTube, but I kept imagining it. And eventually, after about a year, I was camping with my wife and we had no cell service, no internet service, and I had to go into a cafe to go use the internet to publish a video. And I saw all these comments, all these views, all these, I was like, where the heck did all these come from? Overnight, one of my videos went viral. And just like that, in one month, I got 40,000 YouTube subscribers, where in the previous few years combined, I only had about 5,000. I had 5,000, I got 40, I got what, like seven times, eight times more results in a, just a few hour period. Your life can change just like this, but you have to imagine something different. You have to step out of logic, step out of the physical world and say, oh yeah, this is reality because this is what I can see. This isn't reality, this is just a reflection off of your consciousness in the past. Start to view yourself as a powerful creator, as a divine being, as worthy of everything that you desire, as your desires being holy expressions of a higher power that wants to work itself through you. Therefore, it's just like a seed. When you, when you, when you imagine it in your mind every day, use your imagination to think of the love coming, the job coming, the money coming, the great things coming, all of these amazing things, possibilities. Imagine these great things that can occur and that are on the way now, what begins to happen is you start drawing to you, attracting to you awesome opportunities, great new people, fantastic new experiences, an overwhelming sense of, wow, man, something great's going to happen. And then it keeps occurring. Synchronicities happen. Videos go viral. Money comes from nowhere. A new job opportunity presents itself fantastic date out of nowhere. Just something great starts to occur. So use this powerful imagination to tap into higher dimensions of energy so that you can create reality the way that you want. Or as Steve Jobs says, you can dent the universe so that you can bend reality the way that you want. So comment down below, all things are possible. Comment that down below, all things are possible. Comment down below, seriously, ingrain this into your mind right now. All things are possible. Comment that down below. 
So thank you for watching this video. If you haven't yet, make sure that you use my software, The Second Mind, that's literally designed to recondition your brain for possibilities to take your mind back from the br from the brainwashing of society that says you're only capable of this and da 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 da. No, you're capable of anything. The next year can be the best year of your life. You can double your income, attract that amazing job opportunity experiences. Your whole life can change, but you have to be in imagination rather than sitting in logic and saying, yeah, this is silly. This is just wishful thinking thinking. That's logic and it's going to take you from A to B. But as Albert Einstein said, imagination can take you anywhere you want. So demo the second mind right there down below for free. Hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. Bell notification is what notifies you for new videos. Even if you already subscribed, please double check you've actually hit the bell notification. It's right over there on the side and that's what notifies you for new videos. Double check that you hit that. If this video speaks to you, watch it back through again. The way that you get into the subconscious mind is repetition. So you actually ingest it subconsciously and then it starts working magic in your life. Great things start unfolding because you've allowed yourself to be submersed with this, with this new truth, this new level of consciousness. So if this video speaks to you, watch it back through or just let the audio play while you work on something else. Uh, be sure that you share this with a friend if you haven't yet. D demo the second mind right there down below. I'll see you on the next video. Comment down below. All things are possible. Great things are occurring. You are blessed. You are powerful. You are loved and you're worthy of what it is that you want. Go like this. Put a huge smile on your face. Great things are headed your way. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button right over there and hit the bell notification because that's what's going to notify you for new videos. Subscribe, bell notification. Let's get right to the video.